Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christchurch Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, the attention is on Nigeria's Q3 2021 GDP numbers. Last week, Thursday, the National Bureau of Statistics published Nigeria's third quarter 2021 gross domestic product GDP numbers. The Nigerian economy expanded for the fourth consecutive quarter as real GDP growth was stronger at 4.03% year-on-year, albeit slower than the growth of 5.01% in Q2 2021, but higher than the 3.62% contraction in Q3 2020. The performance in Q3 2021 means that Nigeria has recovered from the drop in real GDP following COVID-19. GDP is used to keep track of how an economy is performing and measures the value of all goods and services produced in an economy in a given period of time, usually a quarter or a year. An economy is adjudged to expand when the GDP growth rate is positive and pronounced to contract when it is negative. The GDP growth rate compares the year over year or quarterly change in a country's economic output to measure how fast an economy is growing. This report used the output or production approach. Real GDP reflects the actual value of goods and services produced without the influence of price movements. Simply put, the GDP of a sector can be affected by both the volume of goods and services produced and the respective prices. However, what's important is the increase in goods and services produced rather than price increases. By broad sectors, the non-oil GDP, which accounts for 92.5% of GDP in Q3 2021, sustained its strong performance with 5.4% year-on-year growth, though below the last quarter of 6.7% year-on-year, but stronger than Q3 2020 of negative 2.5%. The unrelenting growth can be attributed to the full reopening of the Nigerian economy as business activities were restricted in Q3 2020. On the flip side, the oil sector remained in depression but contracted slower by 10.7% compared to a drop of 12.7% in Q2 2021 and 13.9% in Q3 2020. This was as a result of 6% year-on-year growth and 2.5% quarter-on-quarter declines in average daily crude production to 1.57 million barrels per day relative to 1.67 million barrels per day in Q3 2020 and 1.61 million barrels per day in Q2 2021 respectively. Based on the contribution of sectors to GDP. Agri-gained ground while industries stayed flat and services lost ground. However, the growth rate in the agriculture sector moderated to 1.2% in Q3 2021 from 1.3% in the previous quarter. Similarly, the industry sector experienced a deeper contraction of 1.6% in Q3 2021 from 1.2% last quarter due to the 10.7% year-on-year contraction in the crude, petroleum and gas subsector. Our takeaways 1. Interestingly, 17 out of the 19 sectors expanded in Q3 2021. 2. The Nigerian economy is on a strong growth trajectory with less influence of base effects relative to last quarter as well as quarter-on-quarter growth. 3. Due to weaker crude oil production linked to operational and maintenance issues as well as reduced investment in the sector. The oil sector remained in depression. 4. The contribution of the oil sector to the economy has constantly shrunk. However, it continues to be a major source of the federal government's revenue and the country's exports. 5. While services has rebounded past the pre-COVID-19 GDP levels, Industry is yet to complete its recovery due to weakness in the oil sector. 6. Real GDP growth rates in agriculture sector remain low due to insecurity concerns as the farmer headers crisis in major food producing states continues to hinder production output and discourage farming activities. We expect an improvement in Q4 2022 as we approach the harvest season. 7. Improved FX liquidity 
within the quarter sustained the positive growth in the manufacturing sector despite the drag from the oil refining sector. 8. The trade sector sustained its positive form for the second consecutive quarter due to the opening up of the global economy and improved FX liquidity. We expect a further slowdown in the year on year growth rate in the fourth quarter due to the slighter impact of low base effects. However, we anticipate sustained year on year real GDP growth across most sectors as we expect the economy to remain open while the vaccination efforts intensify. The federal government's efforts to support more infrastructure projects will provide more lift to sustain the growth trajectory. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another interesting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to CC Radio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 070-8246-37477. Stay blessed.